So pleased to welcome from the Friends of the Thomas Crane Public Library, Kim Calvey is joining us remotely to chat about uh, the Friends and about all of the services that are still being offered by the Thomas Crane Public Library. The buildings themselves may be closed, Kim, but certainly the library is definitely open for business. How are you? I'm well, thank you. How are you? I'm doing well under the circumstances like everyone else. Uh, hey. You know, thankfully the only uh, downside is that uh, I have to wear a tie at home. <laughs> You have to wear a tie at home, or yeah, yeah. Well, okay, fair enough. Yeah, um, I think we're all getting used to the new normal. And quite honestly, I'm so sick of that particular expression, but it is what it is. So here we are. Um, but yes, thank you for having me on the show. So good to be back, even remotely, uh, to talk about the friends and what our activities are. Um, they obviously they're under some serious restrictions at the moment. However, um, the friends always like to stay active and look for other opportunities to advance the library initiative as well as promote our activities going forward. So um, before I forget, um, I really wanted to make sure that I mentioned a couple of our activities that are supposed to happen this month and next month. And obviously because of current social situations with social distancing and this pandemic, um, a couple of these um, events are uh, being altered. First of all, the Friends Social, which, is, which usually takes place in April, and it is an event that is only for members of the Friends of the Thomas Crane Public Library. It is not open to the public. Um, that has been postponed until the following spring. Um, because we don't know. It's called the Spring Social, so we're not going to have it in the summer, we're not going to have it in the fall, and we don't know if we could even have it next month. So. We're going to postpone it until next April, um, but the presenter, who is a local Massachusetts poet, um, we've engaged her services and she's still going to present next year. Um, so that'll be good. It'll be, you know, we can build up some anticipation about that. We have a whole year, everybody, to learn about poetry and familiarize ourselves once again. Um, I know for me, I haven't really looked at poetry since my undergrad, um, but I'm looking forward to spending a little bit of time just getting back into that and just familiarizing myself with the lyricism of it. Um, so I can have a better appreciation for next spring when we have the Friends Social and um, our guest uh, talks about you know, her, her, her foray into poetry and how she's made her living at it and she's very good at it. Yeah, who is um, that, Kim? What's her name? Her name is Cassandra de Alba and um, the, the, the topic is called Traveling Poetry Emporium. So um, that um, is, is sounds, to me, it sounds interesting, but a little vague. But um, based on what I know about Cassandra's poetry, I think it's comprehensive and all-encompassing. So I um, encourage everybody to um, continue to remain a friend of the library this year. Continue to uh, sign up. We never get tired of new members signing up. And we'll look forward to that event next spring. And obviously, like always, we'll have coffee and refreshments because what would an event be without a little nosh? Absolutely. So. <laughs> right, and it's something um, to look forward to now. <laughs> right, well, and we have a whole year, everybody. Right. Um, so, and so to kind of segue from that, um, the library, uh, the building is closed, but the library itself is open. Um, there's live help uh, Monday through Thursday, 10 a.m. to noon, and then 5 to 7 p.m. every day, and then Friday, uh, 10 a.m. to noon, and then 2 to 4. And um, one thing that I love about the library is it's not, those hours are not so, um, you know, that's it. You can only call in those hours and, and that's it. Um, if, you, if you go to the Thomas Crane Public Library org and click on questions, call, chat with a librarian, um, you can contact the help desk in off hours as well. You can leave a voicemail, um, you, you can chat with a librarian, and then if you can't contact um, the library during the help desk hours, um, you can call 617-376-1102 uh, and leave a voicemail message, or you can send an email to uh, QUREF at OCINorg. So I want to make sure the public's aware of that. Um, and that's important because, again, the library building is closed, but the library is open and if you're accessing the website and there's so much inf good information on the website to keep us all busy while we're quarantined, um, parents who are homeschooling their kids looking for fun activities to involve their kids in, please use the library's website. And if you run into trouble, you can always access uh, help via this contact information. Um, so I wanna make sure I mentioned that. Um, the other announcement is regarding the annual meeting, which takes place in May, and we may still have it, you know, Dio Valente, right, depending on what's going on, um, but we'll have more information about that, and if we have to postpone it, we will, but um, it, that is something that has to happen, I believe, every year. I mean, those are the bylaws, so we'll have more information about that, but that is open to the public, starts at 630 
and there are always coffees and refreshments and then the annual meeting actually starts at seven. So um, okay. anyway, why, anyway, why don't I make sure I discuss those two important um, activities first and wanted to make sure I didn't forget anything. I didn't, didn't forget to mention the, the uh, contact information for the library itself. So you no, know, it's really, I mean, it really has become quote unquote an essential service, you know, the library these days. So many of the resources really are free and available to everyone. There are others, mm -hmm. you know, if you just become a, you can get a virtual library card, an e-card basically yes. and, and become yep. a member and then get access the other services. Right. And, and, and honestly, my question is what would prevent anybody from doing that? Like, why wouldn't you? Um, it, it, it's free and it opens up a whole world of resources to keep yourself busy, entertained, educated, the whole bit while we're dealing with this. But, but even after this whole pandemic is over with and we get back to life somewhat before this whole thing, it's still good to familiarize with This is a good opportunity for everybody to familiarize themselves with what the library offers, you know, what the friends offer, the activities that the, um, that the friends sponsor throughout the year. And we will get back to all of that. There's no question. Um, and now's a good time also for people to join and become a member. And there's a link at the bottom of the library's homepage to click on become a member. You can always go on our Facebook page, become a member there. Um, usually you can go into the library and fill out the form, but that's, we can't do that right now. Um, so there's really no excuse to not become a member, a friend, you know, a, a member of the friends of the Thomas Crane Public Library. And because once, once we're all done with this ordeal that we're all dealing with together, um, it's a good opportunity to get, to become involved now, you know, slow start, but then really become involved later as, you know, when, the, when this, this whole quarantine is lifted, really. Mm -hmm. um, but in the meantime, make complete use of the library's resources, become a friend, um, you know, spend a lot of time looking through the library's website. It's, yeah, absolutely. I highly recommend it. You know, and speaking with the director, Megan Allen, there mm -hmm. are new release movies that are available. Yes, uh, there are, of yes. course, audio books, of course, mm -hmm. and even mm -hmm. magazines and, and local newspapers. It's, it's just, it's invaluable rather than just plopping yourself in front of the TV all day. Right. Well, exactly. And that's the thing. I mean, I, I'm, I'm old school in that I, I still love to hold a physical book in my hand. I really can't get used to the Kindle or the tablet. However, I know it's going to come to that, so I'm grateful that I do have my tablet, and I'm grateful that I can access the library and continue to read books um, and access all the other, um, you know, um, programs um, and resources, I should say, that, mm -hmm. that, that are available in the library. I mean, I was just looking this morning, and there's, you know, a whole Quincy history and the shipyard building and all that. Okay. I mean, I would never think to necessarily avail myself of that information, but now's right. a good time. Right. And, you learn a little something and the library makes it so wonderfully available, you know, free, it's easy to navigate, there's no excuse. Mm -hmm, absolutely. You know, for folks, I'm thinking who have never um, utilized the library services before, mm -hmm. here is a great opportunity to learn about it virtually. But then when you right. when, when the buildings reopen and you actually go in, you're going to be mm -hmm. overwhelmed, you know, with yes. the service and with the programs that are available and just the buildings themselves even. Right. Well, you know, and that's the thing. I mean, you, you the Thomas Crane Public Library is a beautiful building, it, you know, just architecturally. And you know, I walk in and it's just you know, everything's laid out. The children's room is over here. Here. There's a cafe going in over there, which I'll talk about in a minute. In a minute, um, but then you just it, you know, people walk into the library and they usually notice that you know the children's books, you know, the videos or whatever, and then just stacks and stacks of books. And by the way, where are the DVDs, right? But right. that's absolutely true. They, I mean, that's that's what's visual. But then you go on the website and you realize just exactly what is available um, virtually, and it's 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 amazing just just what the library provides. And again, the friends. Um, our ambassadors of that. We mm -hmm. talk about the library, its resources, and how to get people involved in utilizing the library and staying involved in the community. That's really what the Friends are, are for. Um, you know, we love to promote the library. We do it through activities. Yep. Um, and one of the, you know, when, one of the resources that the Friends champions, because this is my personal favorite, uh, museum passes. Right. Yes. Yep. And that's something to look forward to. Obviously, there's nothing anybody can do really do about it now. But you know, to my way of thinking, start planning. Well, right. Exactly. You know, hopefully by the fall, things are up and running again. And uh, well, sooner know. than that, I hope. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But yeah. Yeah. I, you know, just and that's something that the friends actually makes available yep. because of our organization. Um, and then also the movies. Um, that are put out and you know, it's not movies from yesteryear. I mean, maybe mm -hmm. there are some, but, but they're current movies. Mm -hmm. um, and 
there's something there's something special I think about watching a movie that's current that the library promotes. Um, usually, it's um, you know it's it's got a little bit more culture to it, if you will. Um, mm-hmm. it, it's just I don't know. To me, it's just it's, to me it's like when I watch a movie that's that's at the theater or was recently at the theater, and the library has earmarked it to show at the library. It means it's because there's got some it's, there's some cultural importance to it. Yeah, they've kind of vetted it for us, and you know it's just a little yeah. more substantial than just plain old entertainment. You know, right? Exactly, yeah. exactly. There, yeah, there's there's some there's some substance to it, and and it, to me, it just seems like it's a little bit it's a better venue to see a movie like that, for example, like about an artist. Um, I think there was an art the movie about. Um, Rothko a while ago. I could be wrong, but in any case, um, but it was, it it was just good to enjoy that type of a movie in the right setting uh, for exactly that reason, culture, you know, more culturally inclined, more substance. And, and the library is mindful of that. Um, And, and and the friends, we talk about that. We talk about that at our meetings and at events that we host throughout the community. You know, gosh, we have this movie coming up, you know, you get, you get to talking to your neighbors, right? People in your community. And you find out what somebody likes. Oh, well, we, you know, we've got right now. We're we're, we're talking about we, there's a whole there's a whole shelf of books at the library about that particular subject. Or we've got two movies coming up in the next couple of months that speak to exactly that. Yeah. Yeah. Or you know, again, on the library website, there's a whole resource that maybe you didn't know about that will talk a little bit about your particular interest. And it, that's what the friends do. That's what we talk about um, when we go out into the community with our initiatives and our activities. Um, you know, that, that's how people find out about what the library has to offer and what the, what the friends, uh, promotes. Yeah. And it's always evolving and changing and growing too. You know, it's, Mm -hmm. it's not a, it's not a static thing. It's, it's, it's evolving Mm -hmm. as, as culture evolves. Exactly. Exactly. And, you know, when we're always, um, cognizant of wanting to draw in new members as well. Um, so again, membership can be, somebody can sign up to be a friend, you know, obviously sign up for the live. I would recommend it doing it this way. It's just mm-hmm. me. Go onto the library website, get your e-card first, because it really doesn't make any sense to join the friends of the Thomas Crane public library. If you don't even already have a library card, right? Sure. So get one and then get the other, get them both at the same time. Um, and both are um, linked on the library's homepage. Um, in the very bottom left um, is where the link is for signing up to be a friend. Okay. Um, and you can make your donation that way as well. And then again, on the Facebook page. Um, and then, since we're talking about all things digital and on the internet, um, I like to promote to, you know, a lot of us are doing virtual shopping now, right? Which choice do we have? Um, mostly, and I I like doing that anyway. I have been for a while, and um, I spend a lot of time on Amazon. And so, one thing that I have signed up for is that uh, we have what's called Amazon Smile, and you can set it so that before you make any purchase, you can you can click on Amazon Smile, and there's a donation that goes to the friends while you're making your purchase. Yep. Um, and to me, I think that's just it's an effortless way to support the friends. Um, even if you're not a member, but um, how much more so if you are? Um, it costs you, know. cost you nothing, yeah, and it goes it to the real cost. Yeah, it costs you nothing. So um, I do like to mention that. And then um, something that I do know is that um, a woman down the street from where I live, she has a coffee shop, and she mentioned to me that the coffee shop in the library is going to be hers before long. Oh, yes. Um, starting, she said in June, tentatively, right? right. Yeah. Um, but one thing that she talked about, she is going to have a uh, you know, regular uh, you know, uh, coffee shop kind of a menu, um, you know, cold brew, um, hot brew, uh, sandwiches, breakfast sandwiches, club sandwiches, uh, you know, vegan and vegetarian options. But as it relates to the library, especially, she mentioned that on movie night, she's going to have um, edibles for movie refreshments. Popcorn? Popcorn, probably. <laughs> yeah, she didn't get specific. I think she's a little bit more um, creative. I okay. That, that's, the, I, that's the impression I get. I don't quote me on that part. But in any case, <laughs> she, um, she mentioned that to me. And I thought, well, that is perfect. And I love that forward thinking. That yeah. again, the friends are promoting movies at the library. That's one of the things that the library does. Yep. And who wants, you know, we all like to have snacks when we're watching a movie. So support support this endeavor too. Well, 
We're going to have you know a coffee shop in the library once again that's going to provide refreshments, you know, for sale obviously for the, for the movies. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's great. Good to know. Something that's another thing to look forward to once this is all over for sure. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So I want to make sure I mentioned that as well. So. Okay. And to be a friend, Kim, um, you don't have to be a Quincy resident, is that right? You can. That is correct. That's correct. Um, I mean, I'm not. I live in Braintree, but I, I wholeheartedly support the friends of the, in Quincy. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a beautiful library. It's. A, I mean, I think that anybody who has any, um, any, I don't want to say interest. Well, I don't know how to put it, but I guess like, if you want to have a greater participation in the community in which you live. It's never a bad thing to go to the library, get your, your, your library card, join yep. the friends, make complete use of the resources. Um, and you don't have to be a Quincy resident. Um, it's not that restrictive. And I, honestly, I would think that that would be counter to the library's whole mission, really, to bring I'm together openness. community. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, oh, well, you don't live in Quincy, therefore you can't join the library. That's yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. That's ridiculous. Yeah, no, absolutely. It's it's um, it's kind of like us in journalism. We just what, things that we know we want to share with everybody. We want everybody to know it. You yeah. Know? yeah, right. Exactly. Exactly. Do what you will with this information, but right. uh, yeah, here's the information. And guess what? This particular resource, which is a huge volume of information, is free. Yes, it's yeah. free. Absolutely. And you know, if you use it, what you want to talk about value? If you use it one time per year, you've right. already you've already got your money's worth. Yeah, I certainly have. I yeah. certainly have. Um, yeah, I mean, I, you know, I, I when I'm, I sign up as a friend, I make my donation. And then, okay, and then I get the library, but the museum passes that I want to go to. Then it's paid for itself. It's, Absolutely, yeah. So, you know, and, and the friend, oh, by, I should mention too, the Friends is a nonprofit organization. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's, I want to make sure I mentioned that too. Yep, so, so any donations are tax deductible uh, as well. Yeah. So keep that in mind. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Great. Yeah. So, um, yeah, yeah. It's, um, yeah, being a friend of the library, especially right now, um, there's a huge benefit. Um, you know, we think of being a friend when the library is open and you know, we can go, we can come and go as we please. But right now I think being a friend right now, if you're truly a friend, you're going to be there when it's, things aren't so great. Right. And we, we don't have a lot of activities right now. However, we can still look forward to the events that we do have coming up. We can still support the library the, you know, in, in ways that it is available to the public on the website, you know, making complete use of um, you know, the technology that the library has, has very uh, comprehensively and expansively made available to everybody. Yep, and, and speaking with the director um, earlier, uh, a lot of these things were already in place. They were very forward thinking about this yes. uh, to begin with, so they really kind right. of were able to hit the ground running. Right. Yeah. 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 Which, which to me, you know, I want to, I want to, you know, em, em, embellish that point a little bit because that's a good point. Is that a lot of people think that you know? It, I mean, I, I've I've been involved in the library since I could walk, and. People don't realize that the libraries are, it's like your quiet best friend. You know, there's a lot going on below the surface and you never really see what's, what, what the work that goes, goes into the library. And people think you just, it's just, again, a building with stacks of books, right? Mm -hmm. And that's not it. It It's so much more. It's, it's an enormous resource for the, for the community. Um, Library science is a powerful thing. It's, you know, it's a powerful education and everybody stands to benefit from it, from what librarians do, from what libraries offer. Mm -hmm. Um, And again, what the friends promote about libraries. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, to, to, to bring it home to what's going on right now, the library, and Quincy and I'm sure others are already in the process of documenting this pandemic and, and how people oh, sure. responded to it and, and yeah. maybe maybe even the discussion we're having right now for, mm-hmm. for history. Oh my. Well, well <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, I hadn't thought of that, but um, but that's true. I mean, again, looking on the library's website this morning, um, the, the landing page alone, there were a couple of links regarding this whole pandemic. Um, you know, to you know, up, up to the up to the minute resources and that kind of thing. And again, so the the library is aware of what's going on in the world, makes it available to the community, is sure. forward thinking by having made complete use of their forward thinking technology that they've had in place for a while now. Right. Um, and hopefully, everybody can learn to appreciate that, especially when we are under quarantine and we can only really get out of the house via the internet. Um, yeah. Make complete use of it. Complete use of it. Right. Anything else we should add, Kim? Do you think at this point? Oh, uh, 
I don't, I think, I think I covered everything, although okay. I do want to check. Let me just know I talked about that and I talked about that. Okay. Um, but yeah, so, um, but yeah, thank you for having me. Um, again, I would encourage everybody to even to continue um, to join. If you're not a, a friend of the library, um, please join. Now's a good time. Seems like it wouldn't be, but you'll still get notices. You get a newsletter. So you always have that to look forward to, to find out about upcoming events. And it's imperative to stay ahead of these events. You can plan and enjoy them instead of finding out about it later. So that's another benefit to becoming a friend. No. Right. Hopefully, yeah. uh, next time uh, we see each other, it'll be uh, in person. But uh, I hope so. I hope yeah. so. Yeah. But in the meantime, yeah. uh, it was great to talk to you. And uh, and uh, Likewise. thank you. Be well. Thank you. You too. Thank you so much for your time today. Thanks, Joe. Bye bye. Thanks. Bye bye.